In the previous movie, we created our sequence by dragging one of the interview clips over. I don't actually need this clip here, so I'm just going to delete it so we get a clear slate on the sequence. And I'm going to come over to our project pane, and I'm going to hit the tilde key so we can get a little bit bigger view here. And we'll just pick an interview clip to start editing. So let's expand the interviews folder, or bin, I should say. And let's just go to the Barbara, and you'll notice that there are a lot of Barbara interview clips here. Uh, let's let's find this one that says challenging but rewarding work. We'll work on that one. So I'll hit the tilde key again to minimize that screen. And I'll just double click on this clip to bring it into the source pane. So quick overview of the source pane. Um, I can hit the tilde key and maximize that so I can get a nice big view. And I'll go ahead and do that so we can edit with it. And I can show you some neat little shortcuts here. So to play any timeline in Premiere, you just simply click the uh, spacebar key on your keyboard. It's just all the time. And it will play the clip. Um, and you just hit it again to pause it. Um, you can use what's called JKL editing, which is uh, a lot of professional editors use. Um, the J key will uh, play the clip in full speed, but in reverse. So if I hit J, uh, you can see the playhead little, moving backwards. If I hit K, it will pause the clip. So if I hit J again, it'll play it backwards. I hit K, it'll pause it. I can hit L, and it will play the clip forward. That it's 24-7. It's just... And I can hit K to pause it. So what's the benefit of using J, K, and L versus, you know, spacebar and dragging the playhead back and forth? Well, the J and the L keys can do multiple speeds. So for instance, if I hit the L key once, it'll play the speed in normal. All the time. If I hit the L key twice, it'll play it twice as fast. If I hit it three times, three times as fast, and so on. So I'll hit it twice here. Um, and sometimes you have to uh, just drop everything. And, and then three and times. And, to range for, um, and, uh, just and then K to stop. Another nice feature is that you can play in a quarter speed. So if I hold the K key down and hit the L button once, it plays in quarter speed. And I can let go of both of those keys. I can do the same thing backwards. I can hold the J and the K keys together. Yeah. And it gets you really nice, fine-tuned editing. So let's gather a segment of this clip in order to put down to our timeline. All right, so I'm going to hit the space bar. Um, but uh, it's exceedingly rewarding. Um, and let's start, let's start there right after she says rewarding. So how do we get there? Let's hit the J to back up a little bit. Okay, and I don't want that zoom in that the uh, the photographer used, so I'm gonna hit L. And I'm gonna wait till after that zoom and stop it by hitting K. Recording. Um. There we go. So we need to create an in point that's I N and an out point in order to segment this clip. It's very simple to do. We just hit the I for in, and you can notice now we have a lighter gray bar on our timeline. That sets our end point. So let's set an out point here. I'm going to hit the L key. Because you get to see these these guys come in not feeling well, not feeling much of anything sometimes. Um, and let's stop there. Let's have her say, and not feeling well sometimes, and then that'll be it. So let's go ahead and hit the O key. Okay, so we have our clip segmented, and there's a nice shortcut that allows us to review our segment to make sure it's what we want to do. And that shortcut is Option K. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit that. Because you get to see these these guys come in, not feeling well, not feeling much of anything sometimes. Um, our end point was perfect. It started exactly where we wanted it to, but we missed our out point. We, we don't wanna include the um in her, her statement. So there's a bunch of ways we can do it. We can either just replay it and then add our out points and all, but let me show you a neat little trick that Premiere provides. If I come over here to the little wrench icon, I can click on it, and I can click on the audio waveforms option, and now we can see the waveform of our clip. And I can click and I can drag the playhead around, and I can play it. Well, not feeling much of anything sometimes. Um, and I can adjust our in and out points. If I hover over the out point, I get the trim icon. It's like a closed bracket icon. And I can click and drag that around and change where the end point is. 
Or I can drag the playhead and play the clip and stop it. Um, right? Mm -hmm. So let's find let's find out right before she says um. anything sometimes. You can also use the left and right arrow keys to go frame by frame. So I stopped it right when she said um, and then I left arrowed a few times to get rid of it. All right, so now that's our new out point, and I'm going to hit the O key to make that selection. And let's go ahead and do the option K again to review our settings. Because you get to see these, these guys come in not feeling well, not feeling much of anything sometimes. Perfect. So to go back to our video, we go back to the wrench icon and we choose composite video.